Pierre Polyev pretends to care about helping you find a home. The truth is, he doesn't. Listen to the way he talks about starter homes for young people in this country. A tiny little shack. The woman who lives there defended her house. He called it a shack. A shack. That was a little embarrassing also, because it's not. And here's his perspective on affordable housing. They don't want nationalized government-controlled homes, Mr. Yeah. Speaker. We don't need a Soviet-style takeover of housing. You know, it's interesting, because as Pierre reminds us constantly, he actually was the housing minister. When I was housing minister, 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 well, let's talk about when I was housing minister. The fact is, he wasn't very good at it, and I'm not even sure he cared. He only mentioned the word housing once in the House of Commons, and Canada built fewer homes that year than in any year since we formed government. And that's the total number of homes that were built across the entire economy. But when you actually look at what the government got done when Pierre was housing minister, his record's even worse. They supported exactly zero new apartments across Canada while he was minister. They withdrew from cooperative housing and supported none. And when it comes to affordable housing, Pierre was responsible for a grand total of six affordable units across the entire country. Now, these stats aren't a coincidence. They're a direct consequence of decisions that Pierre and his government made to make massive cuts to home building. And now he's promising to make those cuts again. In fact, Pierre has gone so far as to say that governments should get out of the business of home building altogether. And there's some weird stuff in this plan that just doesn't make sense. He wants to create a super bonus that only applies to a few select cities across Canada and has very little money in it, certainly not enough to make a difference. He's proposing to create an entire bureaucracy just to service a snitch line so people can rat out their neighbors if they disagree with their housing policies. We've put billions of dollars on the table to support the construction of hundreds of thousands of affordable housing units for low-income families across the country. And he promises to take that away. We've put new incentives in place to reduce taxes on home builders by removing the GST on the construction of new apartments. Pierre wants to put those taxes back on for hundreds of thousands of middle-class homes across this country. He plans to do away with the fund that has already landed dozens of agreements with cities in every region of the country. It's official, the city of Halifax and the federal government have struck a deal to fast track housing in the capital. Vaughan, London, Ontario, Edmonton, Toronto, Calgary, Vancouver, and the city of Winnipeg. What's more alarming than what is in his plan is what's missing. There's no mention of students, no mention of seniors, no mention of workers, no mention of the most vulnerable, and not a single measure designed to help you own a home. Pierre's plan isn't going to solve the housing crisis because Pierre doesn't care about the people that it impacts most. Pierre doesn't care about your community. Pierre doesn't care about building more homes. The thing that Pierre cares about most. When I'm Prime Minister, when I'm Prime Minister, well, when I'm Prime Minister, when I'm Prime Minister, is Pierre.